Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over the fastest way you could possibly get your parallels done for bullpen pitchers in MLB The Show 21. So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys make sure you're subscribed because here on Sunday, September 5th, we'll be doing the giveaway for the Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed mini helmet here live on the channel, all right? We'll be giving it away 11 a.m. Central. That's when I do subscriber game Sundays every Sunday, uh, but we'll be doing it on September 5th at 11 a.m. Central for that one in particular, all right? You guys also make sure to check out uh, by clicking the join button below. You can check out all of the new uh, membership rewards that we've got uh, available. Uh, so check that out and then merch is available also. Let's go and get right to the video, but first, make sure to check out the sponsor on today's video, ahmlb.com, where you guys can get cheap stubs to finish those collections off and get those awesome cards for your squad. Use code BIG at checkout for 5% off. All right, you guys, so we got to give a quick shout out to a few of the new members here on the channel. So thank you very much to George Rakes, Let's Eat a W, Joshua Underwood, Red Ninja 004, Joseph Hasley, Run Amuck 21, and Laura Mueller. I appreciate it very much. Thank you guys for your support on the channel. All right, you guys. So what is the fastest possible way that you can get bullpen cards paralleled in MLB The Show? All right. So the fastest way is events. Events are going to be your friend for getting this done. All right. And the reason is because a lot of events are three inning or six inning games. You can actually start your relievers and not use any starters and just continue to work on relievers the entire time. Now, we have an, a particular event starting today, 819, August 19th. It is the hard 90 event. I'm go I'm going to go over the rules for that event for you right now, all right? Uh, because they haven't listed them here on the game, but they they tweeted them out yesterday. There are no series restrictions on cards. You can use any card for this event. So, I know a lot of people are upset about the rewards for this event. Um, but it's a great place to work on other things. So, do, so keep that in mind. All right. So there, the minimum player overall is a 60. The max player, uh, is a 99. So you can use any player at all. All right. And then the max team is a 90. Now you can squeeze in, uh, uh, some of your 99s and better cards by working in some commons and some of those slots you won't need like starting pitchers because you can work on the bullpen. Now, if you are struggling on your on your starting pitchers and need to work on them too, you'll be able to work on them in this event. It's great for that. And the reason is, is because there are six inning games with quick counts on, all right? And if you don't know what quick counts are, what they are, you can go into a play versus CPU game and turn quick counts on just to check it out. Uh, it's a random count, all right? You're gonna start like one and one, one and two, two and one, three and one, sometimes three and two. Sometimes you're only gonna have to throw one pitch to get those strikeouts. And you guys know, when we go in here and look at the requirements for pitchers for uh, par for parallels, every strikeout is going to give you an extra five points. And if you're playing online, it's going to give you it's going to give you more, uh, depending on the difficulty you're on and all that. So they are on all star the, uh, difficulty. These games for this event are. Uh, and just because if you're watching this video, and it's not this event that is going to be out, don't worry, don't worry. All right, you can do this in any event as long as you can use bullpen pitchers, which I've never seen an event where you can't. Uh, so you'll be fine right there. All you have to do is just use those pitchers uh, repeatedly and do not go to starting pitchers. You know, your bullpen guys, they don't get as much work throughout ranked seasons or, or things like that. It doesn't seem or play versus CPU matches all the time uh, because sometimes you're trying to leave your, and most of the time you're trying to leave your starter in as long as they possibly can. And as long as they're dominant. Now we have a lot of great starting pitchers in the game. So, you know, it's it's hard sometimes to get those bullpen guys in the game. And like I said, yeah, I only have like a few guys to two. Uh, I don't have, I don't think I have a single guy to three. A few of them, a few more to one. Franco here's the two. So it's been, it's been really hard to get them done, but this is going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to grind this over the, uh, over the weekend and we're going to get these done, man. Uh, we're going to work on some of these that I need. Some of them are close to three for me, so I just need to get them done. But you're going to get that 20 innings pitched guaranteed, but it's online. So get more than that. If you guys don't know, it says right here, play games 1.5 uh, uh, times XP. You're going to get more of it there when you play online. And then I believe there's a difficulty boost also, depending on what difficulty you're on. Uh, but these are on All-Stars, so I believe it's just going to stay at that 1.5 times, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a great way to work on getting these cards done. You guys take advantage of the event for what it is. Don't always look at what the cards and the rewards are in the event. Find something else that you need to be working on that you want to work on and get done. This is what I want to do. I want to get these these uh, bullpen pitchers paralleled 
So when I do have to go to them, they're the best possible pitcher they can be, and I can trust them out of the bullpen coming into a game to not give up a bunch of runs and ruin a and ruin an outing for me or something. So pretty cool stuff, man. That's what I that's the that's my idea on the best possible way to work on paralleling bullpen pitchers. Uh, you guys can also go into uh, there's another way. You can also go into just play versus CPU games against uh, you know just online against the against the computer, not online. Sorry, offline, uh, and you can play on rookie. And you can just grind them out there and you can use them as starters pretty much. You don't have you can start them in any game. You don't have to start a game with your starting pitchers. Same as online. You don't have to. Just keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down and you'll find those bullpen pitchers down there. So it's pretty neat, man. It's it's a good way to work on those. Uh, I think they are the probably most forgotten about uh card as far as getting parallels done, in my opinion, this year. And I think something that they need to do going forward, and I know parallels is a new thing this year because we had uh, prestiging last year and now it's gone to parallels but I think something that needs to happen next year is that for the the types of things that these bullpen pitchers get boost and xp for the things that they earn them for I think we need to have their uh their amounts adjusted a little bit you know a save a save should probably be worth a little bit more than 10 points uh, I'm thinking it should be at least worth 20 or 30 uh, when a guy comes in and gets a save uh, and, and knocks them down a hold should probably be worth 10 or 15 um, I think those bullpen guys just need a little bit more point value out there I don't think that they have the ability to get it because you're only using them one maybe two innings possibly a game whereas a starter is going to build up and rack up those points it's just it just it just needs to be better better approached I think next year is, is what we need to do to fix this but that's my opinion on it um, you guys let me know what you think of the comments also if you guys have another better way to uh, that you know of too to work on these parallels for bullpen pitchers let me know let me know because I'm uh, th these are the two best ways in my opinion is is take advantage of events when you can use them in events um, and like now where it's going to be any any card at all uh, you know a lot of people are going to be using DeGrom you know that's, that's what's going to be in the event you're going to see a lot of DeGrom but uh, use those bullpen guys and you guys will have a lot of fun so I hope this helps I hope you guys enjoy the video uh, you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man, subscribe, 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 and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Peace.